Welcome to the video. Today we have bought out a collection. It's in this box here. It is absolutely jam-packed with cards. I was hoping it would be a folder and they'd be filled in there. I'm going to stop rattling this around because I can hear them moving already. Let's get it into shot. Let's cut it open and see what cards we've got inside. Now, he did mention some of them might be fake. So I'm going to go through them, take a close look at them. But he did also say there was around 600 and most of them aren't. So it was just some of the GXs and EXs he was unsure about. But I got this bundle for an unbelievable price. I couldn't pass it up even just for the bulk. Even if it all turns out to be fake or at least the EX stuff, we still should have some really cool cards to go into our cube, gym leader challenge, all of those formats we love playing. So let's head to the desk and take a look at this one. So I am very unsure of how or where I can cut this. So I'm going to quickly, quickly do that over here so I don't uh, cut any of the cards. Obviously great content, me doing stuff off camera. I can try and cut it up here maybe. Okay, I found a way into the box. So let's bring it back over here. It's not the cleanest cut ever. I think we can get under it. Okay, so we are in and these are the cards. You can see some of them are sleeved. We've got a ton of cards to go through. So go grab a drink, go grab your favorite snack. Let's sit down and dig through this collection. In the comments below, let me know if you think it was worth it. I think I paid around 20 to 30 pounds, so Maybe just in bulk it was worth it. We're going to grab a few handfuls of stuff out here and take a look through a little closer though. So let's take a look here. This is some of the unsleeved stuff. We might as well start here. So we've got a Litwick. This looks like it's um, XY or black and white, which is always good. We've got a Nidoran here. Upside down, unknown, uh, fake. Uh, is that a fake card or is that a fake power? Hopefully that's just the power. We've got a Lixie. Okay, so some of these are a different language as well. So I'm just going to put some of those to the side. Let's make a pile here. So we've got a Chikorita. My girlfriend has started collecting those, so that'll be good for that collection. We've got a Paris, a Geodude, Bidoof. We've got an Upside Down, Voltorb. Oh, this is going to be... <laughs> Maybe it's easy. Oh, no, there are a few of them that way. We've got a Baltoy. We've got Hoot Hoot. We've got Bagon. We've got a Drowsy, that's quite an old one. Uh, we've got some more upside down stuff. We've got a Geodude. Just behind that, we've got one of the old fossil Hitmonlees. We've got a Krogunk, another Geodude, Sandshrew, Electric, another Chikorita, okay. Uh, Cedra, again from Fossil. We've got a Trico, C Dot, a different type of Drowsy there. We've got a Psyduck. Always cute. We've got Buizel. We've got a Nidoran. I'm pretty sure he did say no duplicates. I just noticed a third Chikorita, but uh, cards are cards. So Sandshrew. Sandshrew again. Rhyhorn. Coffin. I just love this old style art. We've got Gulpin. Really cool looking Meowth there. We've got a Scatterbug. We've got a very cool looking Water Bagon. It's very rare you see them. So we've got a Magikarp. And two more from this little bulk here. We've got a Diglett and a Meditite. Honestly, because of the age of some of these cards, I wouldn't be mad if I just got that one. Well, maybe slightly mad, but I wouldn't be that mad. Let's dig through some more of these. I'll tell you what, I'll grab a few EXs and stuff out after each one and we can check on those. So here we've got a Sharpedo. Wouldn't be better if I had it on camera. So we've got a Sharpedo here. Let's uh, do one by one, see how they're looking. Um, just feeling this thing, it's, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely fake, that one. So hard to tell, but especially with the EXs, because they would, they didn't really have the texture, they were just all hollow. I think this is fake, let, let's get a really good close-up for you guys, so you can let me know in the comments. Uh, a good thing to always look for is the accent on Pokemon, which is there. The font does look a little off. Got the illustration, the set, the year. Um, I'm just going to say just from the border, it just doesn't look right. I'll flash up a picture of the actual version online. Even like a little glisten on the back. I, yeah, I think this one's definitely fake. Like I say, we did take a chance on the EX Pokemon. So we've got a Primal Groud on here. Uh, looking at the text on this one. Uh, one of my favorite decks when it was out. So a little more idea on this. And that, that's got to be fake. I would be shocked if this one wasn't. Just the text looks off on its actual name. The font doesn't look... It doesn't look right on this. 
I will dig my card of this out because I do still have it in my collection. I am going to be doing a collection video at some point showing you all my cards in my actual collection other than my trade binder, all of the stuff back here and go through where I got it, why I got it and just some of the stuff I've collected. So if you do want to see that, it's going to be out on Pokemon Day, which is the 27th of February. So make sure you subscribe for that. We'll dig through a couple more EXs before we go back to the bulk. But it, I'll be honest, these are these are looking like fakes as well. I'm not even sure that's the name of the attack. That one's definitely fake. And this Minetric. Right, I am 100% sure this one's fake. So I think we are going to rip this one. If it's not, I'm going to be <laughs> going to be good here. But it should there should be some kind of print line. Yeah, these are just stickers. No printing whatsoever. These are definitely fake. Um, yeah, it's just a sticker. Uh, I'm not really sure on some of these. I, I would put money on the Primal Groudon being fake. The text does look a bit off on Manetric. Yeah, that's another. I think so far, unfortunately, most of the EXs are, or all of the EXs are fake. Like I say, we've got the bulk to save us here. So we've got a Buizel. We've got a Rolks. That's adorable. Didn't they bring new art out? similar to this or this art again i'm not sure i'm sure they've gone for a same or similar vibe we've got a tentacle with the recovery so when this pokemon is healed double the amount healed i did used to like these powers um i would love to see them come back we have got some fairy pokemon as well we've got a patch rat we've got a morlo which my girlfriend does collect fairies so i'm just going to put them into a separate pile we've got a mincino Reverse hollow there. We've got a matchup. Hopefully we've got some cool rares in this to make up for it. Um, fingers crossed anyway. Uh, we've got a Doe Duo. We've got a cast form. We've got a Ryolu. It's just cool looking at all the old art, honestly. I could just sit here and go through collections for days. But like I say, even though EX stuff is probably all going to be fake, if some of it is, we've got a cool looking Stunky to keep us going. We've got a Grubbin. Really cool looking Growlithe there. I've not seen that art before. It's just nice seeing new Pokemon art. I've seen that Volbeat before. Tangela. It's all quite old stuff as well, which is cool, because obviously it's something I'm not going to get a chance to get again. Cosmog. Got Slugma. What is that covered in? <laughs> oh my god. Surely not. There's no way. Surely that's like tobacco or food or something. There's no way he soiled a card. Surely not. Um, Borogon, <laughs> Fullerby. This has taken a dark, dark turn. We've got a Dratini from the McDonald's collection there. So again, something my girlfriend is collecting, so I'll put that to the side. We've got an Esper. We have a Rhyhorn Tentacle. We've got a very, very beaten up Light Ladian though. Ledian, one of the uh, Johto Pokemon. That's a Really cool looking card. It is in terrible condition surface wise. Obviously you can see a massive scratch. The sides and edges are whitening. But from the front it doesn't look that bad. It has got a few marks in the corners. Um, yeah it's not the greatest condition. But it is a very cool card one. I'm very happy to have in the collection. One I didn't have before. We've got a Jigglypuff. We've got a very cool looking Metapod. We've got a Drowsy from XY. I think that is. We've got a cool looking Kecleon. That is awesome. Gorgeous looking card. Uh, we've got a Snubble. We've got a Araquia. We've got a Goldeen. Again, some cool looking art on that. Flip some of these the right way up. We've got Trico. We've got Servine and Alolan Sandshrew. That was from Sun and Moon. We have got a Clefairy there, so we'll pop that with the fairies. We've got a Ponyta. We've got an Esper Radiant collection. So that's actually a really good pickup. She collects those as well. So that will go to the side. We've got a Diglett. Four Fish. We've got a Glamiao. Baltoy. These are the right way around if we can. Um, Porygon. Coffin. Coffin. We've got Bagon. We've got Poochiena. We've got Starly. Hopefully not a good card here because this one is absolutely smashed. The random Carvana. We've got Iglybuff. That is an adorable card. I'm gonna have to have a look at that one properly. Ghastly. Gengar obviously being my favorite Pokemon as you can see back there. Really happy to get that. Starly. 
I would love to get Gengar in here. Honestly, that would that would pay for it for me. Um, obviously, not very likely. Uh, we've got a Magnemite. We've got a Chikorita. So again, perfect for the Chikorita collection. We've got some beat up looking cards coming up. We've got Machop, Oregon. We've got Mime Junior. Absolutely, that's probably my favorite baby Pokemon. It's in one of the movies and it's just really funny. Uh, we've got Sentra, again, cute looking art. Another Ponyta. We've got Oddish. We've got a Voltorb. We've got a absolutely hammered Magnemite from Rocket. I think I've already got that in my Rocket collection, hopefully. We've got a Chewed Up Weedle. <laughs> we've got a Sentra. We've got an Alolan Rattata. An absolutely adorable Bonary there. That's a really cute card. We've got a Poliwag again, <laughs> looking all sassy. We've got a Litten. I could honestly do this for days. I absolutely love just flipping a card over and finding out what it is. Meowth, Rocket, I might actually need that. I'll keep that to the side. We've got Sentra. We've got a Gumi, so that's quite an old card. That was from XY as well, I think. We've got a Slack Off. We've got a Wishy Washy. Bent in half horsey, unfortunately. A fake card, let's find out. Phoebus. Is that fake? That looks fake. That's definitely fake. Why would you fake a reverse hollow Phoebus? That's such a cool art as well, though. Is that fake? It's got to be. Look at the colour different. But put these down anyway. We'll go through them properly afterwards. I'll clear them out. So we've got Ponytar. Got a couple of magic cops here. A few of my friends collect these, so I'll put these to the side for them. We'll dig through and grab the magic arps out at some point. We've got Diglett, Staryu, Fletchling. We've got Hopip, Atapi. We've got a Ratata, Mareep, a Cutie Fly, which can go in the uh, Fairy Collection, and then four Caterpies to finish that pile off. We are not even halfway yet. This is what I mean, just in pure bulk, I think I've probably got a good deal. That's what I mean, just in pure bulk, I think I've got a pretty good deal here. A lot of these are sleeve. Let's take a look at another few of these EX Pokemon and GX. Yeah, I got a feeling all of these are fake. I think, again, if I rip one of them, it should tell me. This one is definitely fake. That one's fake. Yeah, these are all going to be fake. It would help if I had them in shot whilst talking about them. Unfortunately, it's looking like they're all fake. All just different shades on the back. The text is just looking off. I'm not even, can't remember what his attack's called, but I, yeah, these just don't look real. That's definitely fake though. I can see it on the back. I was worried then for a second, but there's no ink lines. I think if I rip it right, should be able to get the sticker. Yeah, it's, it's really annoying. It is annoying because obviously, at least I've bought the fakes and someone out there hasn't bought them. Honestly, I would much rather waste my money on this rather than some kid buying a ton of stuff he thinks real, takes it to trade with friends and it gets sort of circulated around. More than happy to take the hit on this one. If you want to see more of these videos, please smash the like button, share this video, watch more of my videos. It really does help push the channel. Subscribe if you do enjoy it as I do want to do more of these because I just love looking through cards, honestly. I will be giving away a ton of these, so if you want to leave your favorite card in the comments, I'll grab a bulk of those if I can. I'll just grab some related to it, maybe the favorite type you saw in this video. But let's take a look at some of the sleeve bulk. We have got a ton of other stuff, but trying to make it a little more interesting. Hopefully these are the better cards since they've been sleeved. Starting with a Noivern already, so that is a, that is a rare. We've got Sudowoodo, which was actually quite a good card. Okay. So we've got... Oh, that is absolutely hammered. But we do have a Nidoqueen from Jungle. We've got a Mudbray. Okay, so not all of these are good. Uh, Malamar, Rapidash, Rickatune, Graveler, Simipaw. A lot... What is that? Surely that's paint. What am I opening? What was that other card? It had like food or feces or something on it. And now I've got a blood card. I'm just going to put that to the side because that's vile. <laughs> I'm assuming that's paint, but because I can't <laughs> entirely, yeah, I can't confirm that. That's, oh, that's awful. Uh, so we've got seal. 
We've got Herdia, that's going to be good for my Gym Leader Challenge deck, because I love Stoutland, so I've been building around it. We've got Swoobat, Rapidash, Laron. We've got Pillar Swine from a Neo set, that looks like. Absolutely horrid condition. Yeah, that is uh, not a great condition. Um, it's a cool looking card though, which is Hitmon top. We've got Hippopotas. We've got Perugly. A Gengar! I don't actually have this one. I don't have this Gengar. And it's a nice condition. Someone up there is smiling down on me. That's unbelievable. That is such a gorgeous art as well. That might be one of my favorite Gengars I've seen. I don't know what set this is. Oh, I'm so happy. Now, yeah, yeah, awesome. I'm so chuffed with that. I, what are the chances of there being a Gengar? I'm going to put that to the side because um, that's going straight into my collection. Like I say, if you do want to see that, there will be a video coming separately. We've got Electrode from Jungle. Cool looking Primpler. Looks Ray there, Hollow. I was just feeling it. I grabbed two cards by accident. So we've got Gibrava, got Nose Pass. Golbat, Rhyhorn, Seeking. Um, I don't know what set that's from either. Got Charmeleon from base, is that? A Silicoon, Morwile, and Gotharita. So that was a really cool stack. A few more stacks like that, and we are laughing. I do you think all of the good stuff's going to be in this um, sleeve stuff? So I am going to. I think we're just going to. Should we just smash through the EXs, get them out of the way? I'm pretty sure they're all going to be fake. We've got Mega Heracross, Toxicroak. Now, I don't, I don't think this one's fake. I'm going to keep that out. The rest of these are looking pretty... Oh, it's so hard to tell. Yeah, the text looks off on that. It's just the text on all of them. Really don't want to rip like a Mega Charizard and then find out it's real. That Gengar is definitely fake. Let's take a look at this. I'm going to keep the Primal. I am going to go through some of these and compare them to the actual cards afterwards before I rip them. So hard to tell. I think this is a little fuzzy and it's a little... Yeah, I don't think this one's real. It's so hard to tell. We'll go through these properly at the end and take a good look at them and find out if any are real. Let's blast through some more of the bulk here. I do think the stuff unsleeved isn't really going to be any interest to you. So I might just go through the sleeve stuff. The thing is, it's just cool looking art. Like that's that's adorable. I've never seen that before. The Axew's cool. The Porygon's cool. We've got a Dark Electrode. Which isn't in the worst of conditions. Obviously, there's a ton of whitening around the edge of it. A first edition. Maybe we do go through this then. First edition Dark Electrode. I don't know if that's... It's not going to be worth much in that condition, but that's still... It's still adding value to this. I feel like just because a lot of these cards are old, they would probably sell for even more in bulk, I would expect. Not that I'm going to get rid of it. Like I said, I build cubes. I build gym leader decks. So this kind of stuff is absolutely perfect for that. We've got Magnemite, we've got Gumi, Petalil, oh, we've got Zubat, a Ghastly, maybe another Gengar. I think that's the same Esper we had before. I'm not going to put that one out separate. All my piles mixed up here. We've got Slowpoke, another cool looking Ghastly. I might have to start collecting them. And Ghastly from Fossil. This is what I mean, just some gorgeous cards that... People down at my Pokemon League, I'm sure, will enjoy if I don't end up putting them in my cubes and stuff. An old looking Snubble there from Neo. Lovana. We've got Exec. Exec. Yeah. Execute. <laughs> uh, again, cool looking card. Ruby. Minchino. Just some really cool looking cards. We've got a Pidgeotto there. Again, awesome looking card. Growlithe and a Hoot Hoot. Got a Jigglypuff. That's a really cool looking Jigglypuff. Look how happy they are. <laughs> we have a Golbat again from Fossil. Might be a little Fossil collection here. So, oh, in the comments, favorite type of Pokemon, favorite Pokemon, or favorite set. And when I go through and sort this out, I will, 
I will send everything from the set you chose to you. Depending what it is, depending if I've taken anything out anyway. There will be a few things I'm going to take out, obviously. We've got like a Blitzel here. We've got a Beldum. Really depends because some of this is, like I say, is going to go in decks. Play Gym Leader. Some of it's going to go in a cube so everyone at Pokemon League can play in it. Uh, so just, yeah, just a ton of cool stuff. I think cubes are better when you have a variety of art. So this is honestly perfect for what I needed. That is an adorable looking Charmander. Look at his big ass head. <laughs> That's so cute. Um, then I think we've got a few. That is absolute smash. I think that might be fake. It's really hard to tell with the off colored backs. I don't know if they're just older. It's uh, EX Emerald. I'm pretty sure that is. I'm going to put it in the pile anyway. It's something I can sort out later on. That feels fake as well. I don't know why some of these cards are fake. If you're going to fake cards, I would fake like... Not that I would personally anyway, but I would choose the expensive cards, surely. It doesn't really make sense, some of these commons. Oh, that is absolutely smashed. That's a shame, because I love Vanillish. Manaphy there. Got a Slowpoke. Trubbish. We have... A Radiant Collection Charmander. That is actually one I need. I've already got the Charizard and Charmeleon, so that's going to finish off that collection. A few more cards here. We've got Meow. A Snubble for the collection. We've got the old Frogadier. I've not seen any Greninja evolutions in a while. And we've got some goodies here to finish on. We've actually got a Hollow here. So we've got a Hollow Floet, which is actually... Oh, it's got Curlia, Spritzy. So we've got a fairy promo there, which my girlfriend's probably not got. So Whimsicott as well. Some goodies for her as well as me, which is all we really wanted. Like I said, I don't care about making money from Pokemon. Pokemon has always just been a hobby I adore. It's something I've grown up loving. So for me, it's just fun seeing these cards. No intention of getting rid of any of them. So accept what I'm going to give away to you guys and friends, family, and uh, people at Pokemon League. So let's try and finish this off here. That is a Diamond and Pearl Chimchar, but it has been folded every which way. That is unfortunate. We've got a Lily Pup. That is adorable. <laughs> so cute. We've got Ekans, Clam Pearl, Wormpool, Jigglypuff, Mankey, Sandshrew, the Water Boys. We've got a Pikachu there. My girlfriend collects those as well. What we'll just dropped out here? Uh, we've got a Piplup. We've got some kind of... Oh, God, that's blinding. Um, yeah, that's fake. I was going to say it might not be, but I know there is a collection similar to that. But that, I think that's just a sticker. Yeah, we used to have these when we were a kid. Um, yeah, we thought they were thought they were real back then, but a little more experience with Pokemon now. So Marill, Darly, Stunky, Ducklet, Bullpick. We've got a Gulpin, again, from Radiant Collection, so that will go to the side. We've got a Carablast, Murkrow. We've got a Pansage, Murkrow, Shinx, Carablast. Some goodies here. I'm going to shuffle through these until we find something cool. Shinx. Quite cute looking. Oh, we've dropped a Nidoran. Oh, look at that design at the bottom. That's another Radiant Collection, so that's a Swirlix. Which is going to go over here. Charizard, Fennekin. All the Pokemon. I wonder if we've got one of each. Uh, Dunsparce, Picky Pecky, all torn up. We have got a really cool looking Ivysaur there. That's actually... No, the condition's quite rough on the back. Looks good from the front though, so I might, might do a little giveaway at the league, like I say, with these. Loads of kids play down there. And um, they just love the old cards. Some of the older players as well will probably like them, so I might put put together a bundle and take that down. Uh, we've got plenty of cards here to share out, so I don't need to don't need to hoard them all. Uh, we've got Tangler. Oh, we've got the old Golbat. So Sneaky Bite used to be really powerful. You would play this, drop damage, scoop it back up, and then reuse it. Such a good card. I've actually still got my deck of those put together. Oddish and Charmander, Binder, or Dirtwig even. That's a fake card. I wonder why it's this set. Dare I rip this? Is this definitely fake? It is. I'd put money on it, but I don't. I'm not gonna. 
I don't want to rip a real card. It feels like blasphemy. I guess I could show you oh, loads of Charmanders here. Benary, a few more. So we've got a Mr. Mime there. That's going to go in the collection. And a chewed up Ironco. Right, we are at the last hurdle now. We have just got whatever is in this sleeved pile. So we're going to fly through this. We've got a I don't, I don't even know, know how to say, say that, that as well. As well. <laughs> We've, we've got, got the old Dodrio. Dodrio. I remember that thing. Um, we've, we've got, got a Nido King. King. That, that looks awesome. 20, 20 more damage to opponents active. active. That's, That's probably going to go in my gym leader, leader deck, honestly. We've, we've got, got a Pingolian. Pingolian. Not, Not sure what language that is. Fable, so that can go to the side. We've got a Standing Zoroark. So these things used to be quite powerful. We've got a Rhyperia, a Lectivire. So I think these are the good cards. We've got Freyloom. Zeb Striker. Okay, so that's not bad. My girlfriend did want one of those for Gym Leader. We've got a Garchomp. Very cool looking Lucario. Rizian. We've got a Marowak. Absolutely gorgeous art. I don't know what he's looking up at there. That like Arceus or something? I'm not sure what that is. Oh, Nido Queen. I've always been a bigger fan of Nido Queen. I think it's because. I don't know. I associate Nido Queen with Giovanni. I think he had a. No, he didn't have a Nido King. Gary had a Nido King. So, yeah, I've always just liked Nido Queen. One of my favorite Gen 1 Pokemon. Up there with Dragonite, honestly. This was a very cool card before. Um, I've always tried to make Dragonites work. I just love the cards normally. That was a good one. Uh, we've got Macargo. Quite cool. Got an Arbok from Dragon Frontier. Backs just don't look right to me. Might have to tear one of these. Definitely not this one, because this one's quite good condition. If it is real, uh, we've got Hariyama, Aromatis, straight into the Fairy Collection. We've got a few old cards there. This used to be quite a good Hitmonlee, I remember. Stretch Kick for 30 is pretty good. One Energy. Got loads of cards here. Uh, we've got a French Rotom. We've got Nidorina. Oh, we've got Blacephalon. That's going straight in my Fire Deck. One of my favorite Ultra Beasts. We've got a cool looking Charmeleon. Another Nido Queen. Beedrill. That's quite cool. We've got Drapion. Mega Gallade. Now there's some mixed in here. Lucario's. Wonder if. Victory Bell, Magmort. It's so hard to tell what's real and what's not. We've got Wobbuffet. We've got Black Kyurem. And we've got a few more. We've got Vivillion. Infernape. A Lowland Sand Slash, Punchbro, Hypno, and Arcanine there. And let's just move these to the side and we will do the last bundle. Like I say, considering I paid like £30 for this, £20, something like that, it seems like an absolute deal. We've got an old looking Octillery here from Neo. That's actually okay condition. We've got a cool looking Quilava, Delibird, Sharpedo, Yes. Some cool looking cards here, if nothing else. We've got a Bayleaf, that Chikorita collection to evolve into. We've got Glooms, Heracross, Staravias, Gabites, Lilligans. Really cool looking Kabuto there. We've got Pupitar, we've got Vanillish again. Praxia, Kuna. Then we've got some cool older art styles there. I just feel like art, it was a lot simpler, but I don't know, I just really like it. I think it's nostalgia though. Ooh. Okay, so one of my... So if I had to pick like six Pokemon, obviously because you normally have six favorites, Dusclops would actually be in there. Not Dust Noir, not Duskull, but Dusclops. So this is an absolutely gorgeous card. This might start a Dusclops collection. It's that nice. And it's very rare that the middle of all is getting a hollow. I guess this is before Dust Noir was added. Much simpler times. Um, got Dragonair, Seal, Metapod, Gorbis, Angler, Macho. Can we get a big one here to finish this? Seedra, on it. Hollywell, Oracorio, Upside Down, Noctowl. Got Carbink, Rakeshin, Chameleon, which is quite cool. We've already seen that one. Oracorio again, and a Rapidash. That's the binder. Let me know in the comments if you think this was a good buy. Let me know if you would have bought it, which your favorite cards are, favorite sets, favorite types, favorite Pokemon. I will be choosing one winner and sending some goodies out to you. 
That's all I've got for this episode, though. If you do want to see more, leave a like. Make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.